So here are some sheets of uh, cheap thin plywood and um, I reconnected the um, pieces of the um, original bulkhead which I had to cut into three parts to get it out of the companionway hatch. So I reconnected those pieces now with some scrap plywood and I'm using this as a template for a template, let's say so. I will not risk with the precious Okume marine plywood to test fit everything and, um, and uh, that's why I use this cheap plywood to, to make a model and then I will bring it up into the boat, connect the pieces there inside the cabin see if I can uh, raise it up to its position and if everything works then I will make the real plywood of the proper material. If you wonder why my refit is taking so much time, too much time, then there's a simple reason. I'm messing around too much with preparations. I made these um, templates for the bulkhead using the original bulkhead and now um, I'm simulating how I'm gonna glue the parts together inside the boat. So I put these long battens from port to starboard, which um, will support the plywood panels while I'm um, gluing them together. I, I'm gonna screw these panels together with um, scrap plywood just butt joints, but I need the surface to, to glue the, the actual uh, real bulkhead. And, um, and once it's uh, glued together, I have to make sure it, uh, it's gonna fit, that I can raise it into position because I'm, uh, I have a good doubt that the chain plate knees the chain plate knees are gonna interfere with the bulkhead while I'm raising it. But we will see soon. I'm gonna screw the pieces together and then we'll see. I have no idea how it's gonna work out. But it's gonna be a workout. Voting keeps you fit and healthy. For the gluing operation itself, for the real bulkhead, I have to make a um, bit sturdier table. Okay, now I have the bulkhead complete and let's see if it can be raised up into position or not. not in the camera but the, the edges of the plywood are touching the chain plate knees so.
Well, it's obvious that it doesn't uh, go into place so easily. I have to remove one corner. That means I can complete most of the bulkhead on the surface. And then one corner I have to glue in its place when it's upright. Much better. All right, the template of the bulkhead is in place. It took me just uh, three hours starting from two plywood sheets and uh, to where I am now. It's only a template. So, I used the sides of the bunks to determine uh, its location. And there are also pencil marks visible from previous installation so it's um, it's pretty much in the same place where it was and uh, and although there is a small misalignment uh, it aligns with the forward bulkhead but it doesn't align with the windows window openings there is about 10 millimeter difference between port and starboard side which, which, I, which I don't mind, which I don't mind because I'm gonna reuse some of the details like the hanging locker uh, doors and, uh, and the bunks and uh, therefore I want the bulkhead to be where it used to be. I used my method to describe where I need to add some material and where I need to remove. So I just put my markings on on those places. I totally 100% understand that this is only a template, but it still makes me feel so good. So happy that finally something is in place. <laughs> I'm going to remove it tomorrow, but uh, the moment of happiness. I've laid down the plywood panels on the floor with an overlap of 18 centimeters for the scarf joint. And um, then I put the template on top of uh, the new panels and uh, scribe the line onto the new plywood. scarfing a plywood panel with a um, simple plane is much easier than, than I thought it would be. I would never bother building a jig for a fuel scarf I have to do. So I 
took the bulk off with an um, electric plane connected to the vacuum. And then I'm just finishing it off with uh, two hand planes. One cuts a bit more, the other one a bit less. What would be more challenging is uh, gluing the panels together, fix them in place so that they don't move. And here is the close up. This is the panel that I'm using for uh, as a support only, and this was my test piece, my first ever hand sculpt. It's a um, different HO. I'm using um, 1 to 8 here, so 15 mil thick panel and uh, 120 mil uh, long or wide scarf. And I'm just trying to keep the lines parallel so the different layers will all get um, cut evenly. Much, much easier than I thought. I was very afraid of the process, but, but this is really a piece of cake. Reminds me how hungry I am. And here is one of the pieces finished ready for glue with the matching one on top of it so let's remove the clamps and the guides you see that edge was supported by a piece of plywood as well and um, you really want this outer edge to be paper thin, then all the lines parallel, and um, the taper should be all even. So you can use your the edge of the plane to see if there are any curves in this one looks nice so we've got another one there and then on this side one more and we are ready to glue the other pieces I have already scarfed out outside of the boat on the table but this this piece was so big and heavy and uh, I was afraid if I do it outside of the boat then um, I will just ruin the thin edges moving it into the cabin through this not so big companionway hatch this scarf is a little thing, but for me it's a big achievement to overcome the fear of making it. Well, I'm not finished uh, with the scarf joint, of course. I have to glue the pieces together and, and then we will see the result. But uh, at least um, cutting the plywood is uh, one thing I, I mastered quite, quite well. Hello, hello. 36 hours have passed since I glued the scarf joint of the um, plywood bulkhead, the main bulkhead. And let's see how it turned out. So here it is under pressure.
Not bad at all. There is a small part which is protruding, but nothing that light sanding cannot fix. My bulkhead is going to be painted, so a little bit of sanding and fairing doesn't ruin the surface. Okay, now I'm test fitting the bulkhead. It's in its place, held with these little keels. There is a nice even gap between the hull and the bulkhead. All around it. So that the bulkhead doesn't uh, touch the hull and doesn't create any hard spots on the hull surface. has passed and another night has passed and let's see how this 
last glue up worked. Probably I've mentioned this before, that stupid people have to do things the hard way. So this is my case, exactly. Again, here is our bulkhead in place. Uh, I used Sikaflex on the outer edge between the hull and the bulkhead. Only because I had so much leftover from the keel job and it's a Sika 292 which has extremely strong uh, bond and I won't use it anywhere else. And I, I was um, so eager to fit the bulkhead that I forgot to cut the layer off for the tabbing. There's another way to do it without removing uh, one uh, layer of plywood just to glass over the bulkhead, but uh, the, the edge will be much um, better looking this way. And now I have to do this the hard way with a chisel and a lot of elbow grease. Just like this. And that's how it looks after two hours of chiseling and some sanding afterwards. I consider these hours well spent. All right, it was almost exactly a year ago in uh, spring 2022, I think it was in March, when I removed the main bulkhead from the boat. And after that, I made a long break for the summer. I didn't do much on OE36. Instead, I used my free time for sailing. And now, one year later, here we are. The bulkhead is back in place. Of course, it's a new one. My idea of um, removing one layer of fiberglass and uh, tab into this recess worked well. <clears throat> Of course, there is some cleanup to do, but um, the glass is nearly flush with the plywood. I didn't bother at the um, lower part because most of it will be hidden. Uh, there are multiple layers, of course, there are four layers, starting with quite narrow and then increasing each layer in width. The other side is still not done yet. And it has to wait for its turn for a bit longer because tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going sailing to Portugal. I will take my flight tomorrow from uh, Tallinn to Lisbon and then I will sit onto the boat in Cascais and we are heading to Porto, just some coastal cruise. Pretty excited about this.